Day two here in Falkey. It's been raining most of the day, so it's been mostly boat cleaning and uh, hanging out. And it looks like it's clearing up a little bit. We're gonna go take a look at a local cave. like another boat headed toward Nassau. Wing on wing, Spinnaker and Jib leaving uh, Foul Key heading for Nassau.
spot. It's not reassuring when you see the scrape marks on the bridge. Scrape marks on the bridge? There is scrape marks on the bridge. And it's morning here in Nassau. We're at the Nassau Harbor Club. We have a slip and uh, I took advantage of that, jumped to shore and had a shower first thing this morning. The sun is up. Not a bad looking place. Behind me there you can see the restaurant. Uh, I think you can. You can see the restaurant over there where we had dinner last night. Interesting place. It's uh, a little bit touristy, a little bit business. There's a very, very low bridge that we come under. The mast just makes it, and it's not very reassuring when you're taking that bridge that there are scrape marks on the bottom of it. We got in okay, we got fueled up, and uh, we're ready for the next part of our trip, heading off to Allen Key. Allen Key? Allen Key. We're going to be staying there probably for a day or two as we work our way down and uh, stop off at all the fun places on the way to Georgetown see the pigs and so forth and at some point Nikki will be joining us on the boat so we're looking forward to that good life is sitting here quietly in a slip which is different for us we're used to being on an anchor a mooring ball and uh, beautiful day here but we can't wait to shove off and get out of town and back to back to nature <laughs> Tag, you're it. Rush hour. You know, I think you're right. Our turn to be the tourists. So I've seen Allen's Key written as Allen's Key with an E and Allen's Key with an A. Here's the sign right here at the beach. We can see that it is written. We can see that it is Allen's with an A, which is odd. Some of the charts have Allen's with an E. Are you sneaking up on me? I think you're sneaking up on me. Say cheese. Oh ho ho. We've come to the other beach and we're gonna take a wander up the back path here and see if we can see what this building is that's behind us. There is a footpath here with some steps. We're gonna head up there and see what there is to see. Mark disappeared on us already. I think he already went up there. You can kind of see where it's been laid up. It's uh, overgrown a little bit. It's kind of typical for what we've been doing. Huh. 
I'm gonna go out on a limb and say we're not the first people here. So it's kind of a little wee building. Four windows and a door. Serious lack of roof and some holes in the walls and what's left of an outboard motor. Lots of graffiti at least. I have no idea what it was, but I'm guessing it might have been something to do with iguana research. Um, and we are being visited by iguanas here as well. What a beautiful shot of that little anchorage. I'm going to take a look at that. We're going to take a quick look at the beach on the other side. There's just a couple of little trees in the way and uh, we'll be right at the other side of the key. We are being very careful where we step, making sure we're not going through any diggings that could be eggs. And here's the other side. It also looks quite calm. Just a beautiful area. Clear water. Sun is beating down. And there's some more beach. And the all important cell tower. And the nosy tourist, not native to uh, Bahamas, but very commonly found. One of the most important features we look for in the Bahamas as we're doing our cruising around is this particular land feature. You try to keep that as close as possible at all times. Just a beautiful area back here. The first batch of tourists have arrived and we're getting ready to head out to Long Key this morning. The early morning tourists have arrived and we're getting ready to head out. We're going to, I forget where we're going. I'll put it over some, Long Key apparently. That's good. Put it over here, but I'm not. 